So these guys go by the name of Corpus Hooks. Uh, I don't know how they came up with it, but we already played two games in this series. Um, there's two more games left, and so far we won two of them. So we want to keep this hot streak going. Here we go. And it's presented by the show. Number six. Look at the tiny teammate on second base i so want to drive him in for an rbi but look at that pop out so not off to a good start top of the fourth game is tied up uh oh guess the pitch right but of course it's a foul ball so we're gonna have to try our luck once again it was a solid contact, though, but here we go. Guess pitch right once again. And the shortstop can't really control that ball. Or shot his second baseman. He couldn't really control it. So I get a single right there. Driving a couple of runs. And now top of the fifth inning. We're up by three runs. And that pitch right there was a little too perfect. But look at the center fielder. Uh, diving everywhere to catch that ball. So he sort of robs me there. So I go one for three. Get another opportunity top of the seventh. But as you can see. The Corpus Hooks have scored a lot of runs. So they're up by three ones. But now I cut it to two here. Because I drove a run in myself. A pretty good line drive right there. Just over the third base. So two for four so far. Uh, two singles. And this game is pretty much over. We're down by six runs. Top of the ninth. With one out remaining. Gets the pitch right. And this one is pretty much uh, popped out. So that should pretty much do it. Uh, not so bad performance by my guy, but uh, third game in the series, we do pick up a loss here, 11 uh, to 5. So we are going to be starting the last and final game of the series against these guys. So things got off to a hot start here in the last game. I thought for sure his ball would have been gone, but the left fielder is right there just watching the ball come down as it hits off the wall. So I surrender for a double. I get a teammate on third base. So we have an opportunity here to drive in two runs. So by the fifth inning, when I get my next opportunity, the score is already 4-0. And here here I get a guess pitch right and that was a fastball and you know what fastballs right through the middle equals home runs for my guys so I put us up 5 nothing, and so far all of the runs could possibly be credited to my guy having a powerful game so far 5 to nothing we go next at bat comes in top of the sixth score is seven nothing guy on first and second base this pitch is goes right by the shortstop and the center fielder can't even control it so two of my teammates go in to score and i am hustling for a triple and i find myself right on the base on time so there goes a triple, so now I'm just a single away from getting a cycle. So this is pretty exciting right here. To complete the cycle. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. And this will stay inside the third base bag, a fair ball. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. And he stepped in knowing he just needed a single to complete the cycle and got it. This will be a day to remember, no doubt. So as you can see, I get the cycle and my team also gets a huge victory. We win by seven and we wrap up the series on a good note. So I go four for five, home run, triple, double, and a single to complete the cycle. Overall, one of my best games. So now that we ended the series, as you can see, we get three out of the four games. So that definitely boosted up our wins and losses because of the fact that we've been having a horrible season so far. So finally, I also get a bat timing training. Now again, uh, this is the best thing to do. Don't ever skip these. And this is the easiest way you could ever increase your contact, your power, your plate discipline, all those goodies uh, that you need a lot of training points for. This is the best way to do it for free. And as you can see, the pretty much objective of this is to time the pitch right and hit it. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, a home run every time or a fair ball. You know, actually it does have to be a fair ball. But you just have to time it right and you should be getting a lot of contact and discipline, vision, power, all sorts of training points 
that go towards your skills. So now that we have finished that training, we are going to be starting a brand new series against San Antonio Missions. They have a 10 and 6 record and we have the opposite 6 and 10 record. So this should be a pretty good series. It'll be the San Antonio Missions taking on the Frisco Rough Riders. So batting 456 so far with 5 home runs, 16 RBIs, um, having a top-notch season. Things come in bottom of the second year, gets the pitch right, and I check my swing there thinking that was going to be a ball. But even if I hit that one, I don't think I would have had much success. So here's the second pitch at bat, and this one goes to the shortstop, and he was able to keep control and get a double play right there. So... My first at bat in this series, not off to a good start. So, next appearance comes in the top of the fourth, and you guys haven't seen a lot of this. I mean, this is uh, actually me fielding. So, here we go. I was sort of sleeping behind a controller, and I tried to make a diving effort right there, but this pitch got right by me, and I had trouble throwing it. So, the batter does get a double play right there, and they had a little thing going. But in that inning, there were only. Uh, able to get one run actually so top of the fourth we are looking to drive in more runs and I get a you know finally I get a good look right here and I turn things around I was gonna settle for a single right there but I use my speed uh the only limited speed that I have uh, to get a double right here so finally I get my first hit of the game and next up I have a base running opportunity a guy on second and my teammate on first base but the batter my our teammate gets us out for a double Double play right here so we couldn't even drive in any runs so that was pretty disappointing um, so one for two checking in bottom of the six San Antonio was able to get three runs and I have a chance here to drive in uh, RBI there's a guy on third base and a guy on first base so here we go all for one so far one out here in the sixth and now I settle for all for two so I have to play it a little wise here and wait for a good pitch we're just gonna have to see what happens I'm guessing for a fastball here. I get the fastball coming my way. And it is right to the shortstop. So there goes a double play once again. So one for three so far. The only play of the game was the double in the fourth. And here in the bottom of the eighth, we're losing by three runs. Guess the pitch right. And this one was a little weak hit right here. Right to the pitcher. And he gets me out on first base. So a pretty disappointing way to start out the series against San Antonio. As we lose this one, five to two. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out. They win it five to two. So long, everybody.